Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to graph a logarith logarithmic function using transformations. And then we're also going to state the domain and range. So here is our um, function that we're given, log base 3 of x minus 3 minus 2. Okay, um, and so what we want to do first is start with the parent function. So our parent function, if you remember, um, logarithmic functions are the inverse of exponential functions. And so if you know what the exponential function looks like, you also can figure out the logarithmic function um, just by switching the x and the y coordinates. So the parent function for all logarithms goes through the base comma 1, okay, um, 1 comma 0, and 1 over the base comma, negative 1. Okay, so these are the points that a parent function will always go through. The base is the value that's written as a subscript. So this 3 right here is going to be our base. So the parent function would go through the points 3 comma 1, 1 comma 0, and 1 third comma negative one. So let's go ahead and put those on here. So this is what our parent function looks like, is it goes through the point one comma zero, three comma one, and then one third comma negative one. So what happens with the parent is that it's gonna get closer and closer to that y axis, but it will never actually touch it. So this is our parent function. Okay, um, so the parent function will always have a vertical asymptote at the y-axis. And that's because, remember that exponential functions um, had a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis, and since it's x and y are switching, because this is the inverse of that, now our asymptotes, we have a vertical asymptote. So the parent function, the domain, is always going to be from 0 to infinity, and the range is going to be all real numbers. So there is no restriction on our outputs, but there is a restriction on our input. So now let's talk about what are our transformations that they gave to us. So in here we have our transformations. Um, remember, anything inside of the parentheses um, we'll shift it to the right or to the left, and it's always the opposite because it's what value gives us zero in here. For logarithms, we cannot find a logarithm of zero or a negative number. It's undefined. Um, so in here, x minus 3, this is going to tell us that our graph is going to go to the right 3. And then remember that anything on the outside of the parentheses always shifts it up or down. So this is going to move it down two, and this one always moves in the direction that it's given. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take each of our points. So I'm gonna take this point right here, and I'm going to move it to the right one, two, three, and then I'm gonna turn and move it down two. So this is my ending point right here. This one is going to do the same thing. It's going to go from here, and I'm gonna to go to the right one, two, three, and turn and go down two. This point right here that was at negative one third, it's going, or at, sorry, at positive one third, negative one, is also going to go to the th right three, and then down two. And what happens is our asymptote is also going to shift. The asymptote is going to shift to wherever this value, um, however much it went to. So it's going to shift to the right one, two, three. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote. at the line y equals, sorry, x equals 3. Okay, so at the point x equals 3, we have a vertical asymptote. And so this pink graph right here would be the function that we end up with after doing our transformation. So this is the graph that we would end up with, log base 3 of x minus 3 minus 2. Okay, so if you're graphing using transformations, you want to start with the parent and then do whatever transfer 
transformations you are given. We do still need to state the domain and the range, so let's go ahead and put that down. So the domain of our values here are going to be all values of x that are greater than 3. So if you're writing it in um, interval notation, you would write it as 3 to infinity, not including the 3. If you write it in set notation, you would just write it as x such that x has to be greater than 3. Okay, um, the range, remember there are no restrictions, so if you write it in interval notation, it's negative infinity to positive infinity. And if you write it in set notation, it's just the set of all real numbers. Okay, so y could be any value. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.